than he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door, and he preached the word to them. They came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men, unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd. They opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He's blaspheming. He's blaspheming. But who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat and walk? But that you know, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of every, everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us put ourselves in the shoes of these men and especially the paralytic for a moment. They came to Jesus with one purpose, to get a miracle and surprise. Jesus says, your, for your sins are forgiven. This is at a first sight, our impression, right? You know, they were seeking something and they get something different. But Jesus is always a step ahead of us. He goes beyond to the physical, he goes beyond of the physical pain of that person. And he knows very well that what is making that person suffer is not his illness so much, but his sins, but his sins. What is making you suffer is your sin. And I came to forgive your sins so that you can enter into my rest, says the Lord in the first reading. I want you to enter into my rest, and you will have rest, peace in your soul when you experience my mercy and my forgiveness, which surpasses all physical pain, all physical suffering, my peace is way beyond the peace that your health or your um, well, well-being can offer you. And then notice what he does. Notice what he does. He says to the scribes and Pharisees who were accusing him of blaspheming, he says, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. Here we see that his miracles are at the service of his message, are at the service of his mission, what is his mission? To bring us eternal life. 
to bring us forgiveness of our sins. He has come to bring us to heaven. So he says, know that I have, for, that I have power to forgive sins. Here is the miracle. That God, God the Father is with me. And he has given me authority upon all creation. Because we, we share the same nature. Here is the proof that I have the power to forgive sins. My miracles. That is what Jesus is telling us. What is better? What is better? To be a paralytic and have peace for the rest of your life and find a purpose amidst your illness and be happy and be holy or being a healthy person and be and at the same time be a wayward and rebellious person because a person that lives a sinful way of life will never enter God's rest will never enter God's kingdom but if you are undergoing a suffering a physical pain but you meet Jesus Christ and you find peace that peace that surpasses all physical pain that is much more worth it than to being healthy and leading a life away from God of course, hopefully uh, we can have both things, right? Uh, that we be healthy and at the same time holy and do God's will and experience His forgiveness and love Him above all things. And there are a lot of saints uh, who amidst their illnesses, they, find, they found purpose in their illness and became holy. And at the same time, we see, you know, this, uh, people being healthy and holy at the same time. So let us pray for each one of us so that we may um, experience God's forgiveness in our lives and thus discover that peace that surpasses all understanding, that love that goes beyond any, any suffering, whether it is a spiritual or physical suffering. Let us pray in silence.